Hey guys, welcome to Your Adventure Compass. Today, we're in Branson, Missouri, and we're on our Branson road trip, and we are at Branson Landing. Yes, that's a lot of Bransons. Branson Landing is like a shopping mall, but it has a lot of unique stores, and there's also a lot of really good high-end restaurants here. So we wanna walk around, check things out, maybe grab a bite to eat, and see what's here and what they have to offer. Come along with us for this awesome adventure. And over at the far end of Branson Landing is a Bass Pro Shop. They've got uh, some boats and different uh, ATVs and things like that out here. And as we walk along this way, we're gonna head into the actual mall area, walking right between a bunch of boats. Now there are a lot of lakes in this area, so fishing is a popular thing here. There's some pontoon boats and a lot of different fishing boats as well. And as we start walking in, the first thing we see here is Bricktown Brewery. Looks like they have a bar and different types of food. And right across from the brewery is the Five and Dime General Store. Now they have one of these over in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We have been in these before. All right, let's head into the Five and Dime and see what's in here. There's all kinds of humorous socks. Some funny, some just have different things on them. Best dad ever, this let's get this bread. No soup for you, the soup Nazi. All kinds of different ones. You're on mute. <laughs> Check that out. There's a uh, Squatch one right there, Sasquatch. Got quite a few actually. Different ones there. He's up there roasting some uh, marshmallows over the campfire. And they have tons of Branson shirts here as well. There's one with Bigfoot. Over here, some embroidered sweaters. These are uh, 30 a piece. And they've got tons of hats as well. All kinds of different stickers over in this area here. And on the other side, this is one of the things that they're kind of known for is these uh, old timey kind of games and gags and things like the, the old hand buzzer where you shake somebody's hand, it's got a little buzzer type thing and it, uh, it's supposed to scare them. Um, plastic pan flute, uh, different games, paddle ball with five different holes and then the regular paddle ball there, different whistles. I remember these. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. You used to put them on your bike. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what exactly for, just to kind of add a little flair to your bicycle. Jump rope. Sparkling Mike walking tin robot. I gotta see this. He's $30.99. Oh yes, he's a wind-up robot. Check him out. He's kind of cool. bike horns, dominoes, an ant farm up here. And check it out guys, here's the old toy soldiers. 60 pieces in there. Slinky. And a uh, smaller, smaller robot right here as well. And the last aisle just has a bunch of kind of random toys and different things down here as well. Some old, some new, mostly new. There is, however, check this out, a squeezable, I, I, I don't think that's what Bigfoot sounds like. I highly doubt that. But they have a squeezable Bigfoot. Some walking sticks over here. And up above, there are tons of 
metal signs, including Bigfoot and some car signs, as well as some beer signs and even some gas station signs. All right, guys, we finally found a press spending machine, and I think this one works. Uh, we're going to get this one right here. It says Branson, Missouri, and I've got my uh, quarters and my penny in here. We're going to push these in. Look at that. Went in nice and smooth. I've already selected the one we want right here, and we're just going to crank it, and I feel like going through right now. All right, and there it is. All right, look at this. Oh yeah, I got it upside down, but... Oh yeah, that turned out beautiful. Excellent. Just across from the Five and Dime here is uh, an arcade of sorts. And it looks like uh, they've got some uh, virtual golf over on this side. And then I noticed over here, check this out. They've got a big, giant monster truck over here, Grave Digger, and it's all hooked up with hydraulics, so I'm assuming that's a virtual ride of sorts as well. A couple other things in there. This is called Tuplex. On the other side, Candy Emporium and On the Ball Sports. We have a couple of fashion stores here. And this looks like a Western store. It's called Boot Barn. Check this out, guys. They've got real cowboy hats inside. See, miles and miles of boots in there as well. We have to take a look around. We don't have too many of those near us. Over here, Distillers of Smith Creek Moonshine. And it uh, looks like they've got a menu of all the different stuff they sell. Food as well. Yeah, it's a restaurant. They uh, apparently have some entertainment from time to time. We've got uh, still sitting over here. And then they have a bunch of moonshine and souvenirs as well. Oh yeah, look at this. This is kind of cool. It's a uh, insulated mug, kind of looks like a uh, a barrel. Kind of cool looking. And over here, I think these are candles. Yeah, check this out. A whole big rack of different candles. Apple pumpkin, autumn harvest, banana pudding, cinnamon bread. Wow, pretty cool. Well guys, I wish that I could give you smell-o-vision here because this one is scented as bear farts. And guess what? It smells like gummy bears. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Got some flasks over here on this side. T-shirts and oh, here we go. Moonshine, they got apple pie moonshine. They got orange cream moonshine. Let's see what else we got, coffee. Peach, and I bet there's more down the other way. Let's look. Got some t-shirts over here. Oh yeah, chocolate silk, lemon lime, sweet tea. And this one's just straight moonshine. Well guys, stop in here because they also offer free moonshine tastings. We opted not to because we want to get into a lot of other stores and we could have spent a lot of time there tasting. So we're going to move on. We've done that before in Pigeon Forge and in Gatlinburg. So we're going to move on. Let's check out the boot barn right across the street here. And right over here is the boot barn. Kind of curious to see what all they have in this store. Of course, they're going to have boots and cowboy hats. So let's take a look. I've seen these before. Lots of different boots here. And then 
guys, if you like the smell of leather, it smells amazing in here, I'm telling you. Absolutely fantastic. I love the smell of leather, so this is kind of my place. Well, they even have bags for boots. I didn't know that was a thing. Interesting. Lots of uh, different protection for your boots. Wow, what is this material? Interesting. What does that say? Is that snake? I don't know. I'm kind of curious. It doesn't really tell you. I think there's a sticker over the, uh, the actual things that it's made out of. That's, that's kind of interesting, though. Lots of uh, shirts and hats, both uh, cowboy hats and baseball hats. Of course, the, uh, the cowboy hats over there in the window. Tons of different ones there. And uh, looks like the lady stuff is over on the other side, over here. Kind of a neat little store. Lots of different things, jeans and all kinds of Western wear. But this is the real stuff, not the, uh, not the cheap knockoff stuff you would find maybe at a Walmart or a Spirit Halloween this time of year. A lot of people don't realize that the, uh, a real cowboy hat is, uh, is actually very rigid, very solid. Kind of like the, uh, the bill on a uh, baseball hat. And then uh, when they do these, use a steamer so they can custom fit and give you the curve that you want for your hat. In case you're curious how I knew about the steaming of the cowboy hats, when I was in Vegas in February, there's a specific horse show that takes place at the hotel I stay at and they do a lot of western wear and things like that there one of which of the items happens to be cowboy hats and those cowboy hats they custom fit and steam on the spot and wow check this out there's a guy fieri's kitchen and bar here let's head inside and get some grub for dinner hey guys we're at guy fieri's kitchen and bar here in branson Missouri and we are going to grab some dinner. We decided to order the trash can nachos. Now, we were told this should be very interesting. We shall see. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like. All right, here's a quick look at their menu and they have the trash can nacho-rama. Uh, it is listed as an entree, but we're going to get one and share it as our appetizer. And we ordered this Motley Q barbecue pork nachos. And it's got, it uh, looks like smoked pork, cheddar cheese, black beans, jalapeno, sour cream, pickled red onion, cilantro, pico de gallo, and bourbon brown sugar barbecue sauce. Can't wait to try this out. Now let's take a look at the rest of the menu because we still haven't decided what we're getting for our entrees. And just so you guys know, here's a look at their shareables. They do have a few different things. They said they were out of those pizza pops. Um, I was thinking maybe along the lines of the uh, chicken and waffle sliders, but we decided not to do that. They've got soups and salads. They have chicken wings as well. And then over on the other side, they have burgers. Big Bite Burgers, there's a bacon mac and cheese burger. That sounds pretty interesting. There's the real cheesy, the big Philly bomb, and donut, try this at home, which is a donut burger, which I'm probably gonna pass on that. I'm not into uh, donuts and burgers mixed together. Uh, you can look down here, they've got Big Bite sandwiches. Looks like that same pork you can get as a sandwich. Steak sandwich, crispy bacon and ranch, and Mac Daddy Buffalo Chicken. And of course, they also have beers and mixed drinks as well as desserts. Lots of things to choose from, cocktails, lots of signature cocktails as well. There's a ton of stuff here and I am looking forward to it. Oh, one more thing I want to point out is these napkins. Check this out. The silverware was on the napkin, but they're like skulls with the, uh, the crossbones are a knife and a fork, just like I've got here. So the inside of this place is decorated pretty cool. We got some lights hanging, and they have these booths. And at first I thought these booths, I was convinced that these were worn out. They're not. They are all like that, and they're done that way on purpose. Kind of cool the way they did that. The bar area has cowhide seats, and you 
can see the kitchen in the back, which has windows so you can see right in. And this other area over here is also for dining. And they also have gifts and souvenirs at the front. It's the trash can nachos. Check this out. Welcome to Flavor Town. There we go. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, thank you. Oh, Do you guys have some plates? Yeah. It'll be amazing. And it smells amazing. I can't wait to dig into that. All right, guys, here we go. Got some nacho. Let's try this out. Mmm. That is really, really good. All right, guys. Now, I don't have three different meals to show you because we all ordered the same darn thing. And it is the mac and cheese bacon burger. Check this out. Oh, my gosh. It looks incredible. There's onion straws on there. There's shredded lettuce, tomato, bacon, mac and cheese, and two smash burgers, I believe. And then over here, a basket full of waffle and french fries. This looks so good. There's no way I'm going to be able to eat this and show you guys. So I'll let you know how it was afterwards. All right, guys. I don't know what kind of seasoning is on these fries, but it is so good. They are excellent, excellent fries. All right, guys. So it said that this was an award-winning burger, and I kind of was like, yeah, whatever, whatever. This is the best burger I've ever had in my life. It's amazing. It's incredible. You gotta try this. You see a Guy Fieri's kitchen and bar. Check it out. So as I mentioned, they have a lot of different souvenirs, including t-shirts that you can get here. And some hats as well. And a couple others down here. Looking over this way, you can also get some of Guy's special sauces here. He has the uh, honey barbecue, the hickory barbecue, the mop sauce. They also have different tumblers, different shapes and sizes. Some with his logo, some with the restaurant. They have uh, other sauces over here as well. There's the chipotle, the donkey sauce, and the jalapeno. I have had the chipotle. In fact, it's in my refrigerator, and it is my favorite chipotle sauce. Has much more flavor than most others, and of course, Guy Fieri, famous for Diners, drive-ins, and dives. Well, the food over at Guy's Kitchen and Bar was awesome. Located right next to Guy's Kitchen and Bar is the Fast Shot Shooting Gallery. And check this out, guys. They have an entire shooting gallery with all kinds of different things in here that you can shoot at. And as you shoot them, they animate. Lots of cool stuff in here. And look, it's Tomater. Tomater in the background there. Looks like he's in a uh, barn of some sort. All kinds of different things. What do you think? Should we give this a shot? Let's try it out. Well, guys, it may or may not look like I did pretty good, but look, I, uh, I want a free temporary tattoo. I just have to take this down to the zip line place here on the other side of guys. You can see the zip line place right here and redeem it. I'm going to redeem it for my daughter. Let her pick whatever she wants if they're open. All right, guys, we redeemed our ticket for the tattoo, and uh, the guy was nice enough to give us a couple of them. However, it is just the uh, the logo for the uh, shooting gallery there, but still very nice of him to give us a few. There's Marble Slab Creamery and Great American Cookies, so there's some dessert places in here as well. Over here, a place called Ozark Home, and it looks like they've got a lot of uh, home decor that is uh, specific to this area of the country. So let's take a quick look in here. Wow, it's pretty amazing. Welcome. Yeah, this looks really neat. Lots of cool decorations in here. And over here, there's a place that does old time photos where you can dress up and have your pictures taken in an old time photo, put you in a cowboy hat and an old western outfit. Check those out. Those are pretty cool. Ah, look at this, guys. 
there is a compass. It's the Spice and Tea Exchange. I just happened to look up and see a compass and I thought, huh, how cool. It's like it's all different teas. Probably sold by the pound in here. Probably have a lot of good ones and I do enjoy tea, but I enjoy my coffee much more. And over here, another sweet spot is Kettle Creek Popcorn and More. And they've got different types of popcorn and sweets and drinks inside. There's also a couple more designer stores over in this area. There's an H&M. And over on the other side is Victoria's Secret. And I think this is about the halfway point of this mall. Let's see what this is. This says uh, Dave's Tickets Admit One. This is uh, Branson discounted tickets for attractions in the area. And if you head towards the main street from the center point here, you'll find there's two restaurants. There's a Big Whiskey's American Restaurant and Bar. And then over on the other side is Laxey O'Shea's, an Irish pub. And then headed towards the river in the middle here is a uh, fountain. And my understanding is they do fountain shows. Oh, and check this out, guys. There's even a little trolley that'll take you around here. And you can ride it. It says tickets are $4 or two for six. Now, this fountain right in front of me is not the fountain I'm referring to, but the one further back there over on the riverfront is the fountain. And I believe they do a fountain show that's lighted and has fire and different things at the end of the evening we'll have to see if we can make it back and check that out oh yeah this definitely looks like a lot of fun we're going to try and make it back and see this later on this evening and by the way there's also more restaurants there's a land shark bar and grill over on this side and over here on the opposite side of land shark is cantina laredo modern mexican food i think they've closed already for the evening it uh, it does have a sign there that says see hostess for patio seating but it looks like everything's closed up, so I have a feeling they are closed for the evening. It is starting to get late. There's also a bunch of different small vendors selling different things, like these uh, wind-type chimes. I say chimes, they don't really chime. What are those called? So what are those called, guys, when they're not really a chime, but it blows in the wind, like a, what, a windmill? I don't know. Pinwheel? What do you call them? <laughs> This store over here is kind of a unique store. It's called Ride Makers, and uh, you get to customize and build your own vehicle. Now, not a full-size vehicle, but a little tiny one. And they have all kinds of options. You can choose the body, you can choose the tires, the rims, and all kinds of things you can see in there. They have different colors, different body styles, all kinds of different options. It's like building a car. And then uh, I believe it looks like they are remote control. This Young man is controlling one over there on the floor. Kind of a cool concept to uh, design, build your own car that you can drive. It's not gonna take you anywhere, but you can drive it. And oh, I love this store here. It's called Pepper Palace. Now I've been here at the, uh, the one in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And I gotta tell you, they have some amazing sauces in here. Um, I have actually ordered from them online since we went on that trip to Gatlinburg because their sauces are incredibly good. They have uh, one that's a, a bourbon bacon that uh, tastes amazing on top of burgers. Bath and Body Works and even all the way down here in Branson, Missouri, there is a Kilwins. We just cannot get away from this place. This is a Michigan original. Started up north. It was originally known as the, the up north place to get fudge and chocolates and ice cream, of course. And unfortunately, they have spread all over and it's not as special as it used to be. But they do have good stuff inside there. Another place here is Seven Arrows Tap Room. And uh, looks like you can get different beers here. And one more place that I have never been to, but I have been told many times is excellent, is the Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers. 
And uh, I would kind of like to try this at some point in time, but uh, I think we're gonna do guys in just a bit here. All right, guys, we stopped into a Hot Topic just a moment ago, and I ended up getting this. It's a uh, mystery pack of two buttons, and they're cryptids. So we're gonna find out what we got in just a moment. We'll open this up. All right, guys, so I opened up the package, and I've got my buttons. I have not flipped them over yet, so let's see what we ended up with. Well, this is interesting. I am not familiar with either one of these. It's uh, this one here and this one here. I'm gonna have to do a little research. If you guys know which uh, which cryptids are these, I, I'm not familiar with these guys. So uh, if you know which cryptids these are, leave a note in the comments, let me know. Also down here, just past Hot Topic, is the Saltgrass Steakhouse. And on the opposite side, is Joe's Crab Shack. And something else that I noticed back here is Andy B's Tiki Bar. Now this is a kind of a cool looking Tiki Bar. It looks like they might be closed for the evening. Well, it does appear that they are closed for the evening, but it looks like it'd be a great place to sit down, have a cocktail underneath that grass hut and enjoy something tropical. Also down here is Arcade City, and it is a full-blown arcade. They have skee-ball and other different video games and claw machines and all kinds of fun stuff inside there. And right across from that is Andy B's Bowl Social, and it's a bowling alley. So you can go in here, grab a couple of brews, and enjoy some bowling, dine, play, and bowl. And last but not least here is crepes and cream. Crepes and rolled ice cream. This sounds really good. We might have to try this. All right, guys, we got the uh, pina colada ice cream here. And uh, they add pineapple and coconut to a cream, which they pour on to this uh, extremely cold surface. And then they mix it up by hand. You see, he's uh, he's making it turn into ice cream, and he's mixing in the uh, the pineapple and the coconut, spreading it out real thin so that it freezes and turns into ice cream. That's kind of neat. guys and you can see how he rolls it up pretty neat the way he's doing that And it looks like it's garnished with more coconut and pineapple as well as whipped cream. All right, guys, and there it is. That's our pina colada rolled ice cream. Let's give this a shot. All right, guys, here we go. That is really amazing. It's, uh, it's a lot creamier than I thought it would be coming off that icy tray. It's really good. Right across from Andy B's, where you can do your bowling and dining, is this place right here. They have a mirror maze and a 7D dark ride adventure. You can kind of see that. If we take a peek inside the building here, they've got the 7D ride right there and then there's the sign for the mirror maze looks like you can uh, view over that direction continuing down this way there's still some some places down this way as well some some more shopping some more fashion stores and whatnot 
But uh, one of the things I wanted to point out is a restaurant down here. So there are actually a couple of restaurants down towards the opposite end of Branson Landing. It's the Black Oak Grill right here. They've already closed for the evening. And then right next to them, we've got a uh, winery that is coming soon. This is uh, Lind Waddell Winery at the Landing. They're not, uh, not currently open, it says coming soon. So if you live in the area, you can look for that. And finally, at the very end, opposite side of Branson Landing, as the Bass Pro Shop is Paula Dean's Family Kitchen. And if you've never eaten in here, you should try it because we went to the one that is down at the island in Pigeon Forge. And let me tell you, the food was absolutely incredible. It's great food. It's served family style, which is kind of neat. It's, uh, it's different for a restaurant. I'll give you guys a quick look at their menu here. So you have a couple different options for your food. You can choose two down-home dishes and four sides, or choose three down-home dishes and four sides, or four and four. So you get your option, and uh, it's just various pricing based on how many things you do decide to get. These are the options. They have uh, fried chicken, pot roast, chicken fried pork chops, country fried steak with gravy, and spare ribs, chicken and dumplings, Georgia fried catfish, and old fashioned southern meatloaf. Now, if I recall correctly, when we got this, I think we got the beef pot roast and the meatloaf. And I'm not sure, I think we might have gone for the three and got the spare ribs because there was three of us and we figured that would be a good way to judge how much food we were going to get. I do remember some of the sides that we got. We ended up getting the uh, broccoli casserole, which was not all that great. Um, and I think we also got the creamed corn, which was good, and maybe the green beans. Over here for the dessert, I ended up getting the ooey gooey butter cake. And let me tell you, that is to die for. It is absolutely incredibly good. In fact, they have a store here right next to the restaurant and you can buy the cake mix in the store. If you're in the area, stop in and just get yourself one of the cake mixes because it's absolutely incredible. And finally, right next to Paula Deen's is Parakeet Pete's Balloon Rides. Now, this has not been in operation all day, and I don't know if it was uh, just due to weather or what it is, but it's not exactly the balloon ride you might be thinking. The, uh, the seats kind of look like uh, almost something like you'd see in a drop tower or something or a roller coaster. They've got these uh, strap-in seats with the lap bar and everything, and then there's a big balloon attached above you, and then this tower. It goes way up, maybe a hundred feet or so, maybe even more. I don't know. Anyway, this uh, this balloon does not go any higher than the tower. That's it. It's it's not even really a balloon ride. The balloon's just there for uh, for looks. It uh, it lifts you up, and you go all the way up to the top, and that's it. You don't go any further. So not uh, not really a a true balloon ride. So they do have this uh, little photo op here where you can uh, stand behind these faces and they have steampunk goggles on because it's supposed to be a steampunk balloon and uh, have your photo taken. I looked, I did not see anything about pricing for this ride anywhere around it. Um, I think you have to get tickets over by the zip line area near Guy Fieri's kitchen and bar.
Well guys, that is going to do it for our trip out to Branson Landing. Here in Branson, Missouri, we had a good time. Guys was awesome. They had great food. I can't complain at all about that. It was really, really good. The uh, ice creamery with the rolled ice cream. Very good ice cream. Really enjoyed that as well. And we enjoyed shopping and checking some of the different stores out and some of the unique places that are here at Branson Landing. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to click on that compass, which will subscribe you to see more videos just like this on my channel. Until next time, remember, adventure is sometimes a little further away.